you're sick and tired of all this, having all this hanging out of your pole. Um, you want it nice and like this, just with a hose, real hose. Then watch the rest of this video. How you doing guys? Right, just doing a quick video. I know a few people have asked about how I go about doing my DIY um, hoseless pole kit. A um, couple things you're going to need, you're going to need your uni valve, you can get that from David Camp, Window Cleaning Warehouse, you know other lead brands, you can get these picked, they're about 45 in total with VAT and obviously postage. A couple of clamps, I did order some but they haven't come so these are the ones I've got um, for now. So you're going to need a few of these, you might need four, maybe five depending if you're going to need more for your gooseneck and for your bottom tail. I'll show you that in a bit. 22mm insert from John Guest, the plastic one. Or any normal one. Again, these are very cheap to get hold of. Um, a roll of electrical tape. A blade. Screwdrivers and cutters if need be. So what you're going to have to do is separate your section 1 pole from your actual main pole. Um, with me, I've already shortened the hose for my pole, so as you can see, I've only got that much hanging out. When you do get your poles and you do set them up, some of you will probably find that you've got all this. You know, there, there's untold amount of it, and this all tangles up, gets kinked, gets in the way, plus obviously your real hose you've got to deal with. So, what I find is if you Disconnect the gooseneck side. From the pole. Obviously the pole's got no hose in no more. And because I've shortened my hose already. Obviously I've got my insert bit there. The gooseneck, everything where that just attaches to the brush tee. So that's how mine looks now. So this is the length of the full pole of how many sections you have. So if you've only got five sections, six sections, eight sections, then you're going to want to cut the hose that's in that pole. But remember, leave enough tail at the bottom of the hose. So you probably want, I don't know, about that much. You know, it's a good inch and a half, two inch just sticking out of the bottom of the pole. Um, I uh, You have to use the 21 section fittings, um, if you can see, the male and female. I have the female on my hose, real hose, and then the males on my actual pole hoses. So you will have to get some of them if you haven't got them. Um, and that's how it would have to be left and finished off. Um, you can't have a ball, you can't have a protector, nothing like that. You will see why in a bit. So what you're going to have to do is, we'll put this aside for a minute, is get your insert, get some electrical tape, any colour, doesn't matter. As long as it's electrical tape, you can probably use duct tape, but I've only used electrical tape, so I can't see there being a problem. And you literally get your electrical tape and then wrap it round the insert. You'll see why soon. Just keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping until it's probably about the size of that lip all the way around. Obviously you can buy the um, the actual hoseless kit. I think they're about 80 quid, 60 quid, something like that. Um, but when you've got more than one pole, and then you can go and get, you know, three of these uni valves, you know, at a slightly discounted rate, you know, obviously you'd have to speak to the suppliers, see if they do that. Um, time you get that and you go and get a couple of these inserts 
you know it, it, it doesn't work out a lot in total because you yeah you had to buy the univalve um, so that obviously bumps up the price but to actually make it into a hoseless pole set up to say it doesn't cost a lot really all you're paying disregarding the univalve is just the insert and obviously electrical tape and the hose you've already got because you're going to have loads of it because you've already got it on your pole so you know yeah it's fairly it's cheaper i find especially when you've got more than one pole to be contending with and once your setup's all done like this then you're fine so that's what you're kind of left with as you can see it's all like that so now what you're gonna to have to do is go to the bottom of your pole as you see and you're gonna to have to keep you're gonna to have to push this insert in it's got to be tight but not too tight into the actual pole so once that's all done I need to take a bit off or put too much on Too much. Yep, too much. Let's try again. Yeah, it's about right. So we're going to have is. Don't know if you can see that. You can see the insert is in there now. See without it. And you can see it's quite, it's got a bit of gear, it's a bit tight to obviously get in and out. So now that's in there, what's going to happen is when your univalve comes up, obviously yeah you can cut the pole but you don't want it slapping. You see it's stopping the univalve from going up in that pole now. That's what the insert does. Um, some people may say, but won't these clips scratch the inside of your pipework and damage it? To be fair, I haven't had a problem and I've had mine for a pulse for about a year. I have all the X-Line Pros, Plus Pros, and I've not had a problem whatsoever. So, for me, no, I haven't. It's not been a problem. So, next thing you need to do now you've done this, we'll set this to one side, we'll bring back our hose. Your hose is now cut to length that you've done already for the length of the full pole, not just for section one. Um, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put this on my pole. So this is your full pole. All in, obviously, section one we have to go in. It's slightly hanging at the bottom here. So what you want to do is have your hose further out than the actual hose itself. With your fitting, which is the 21 section, I think that's what they're called, the 21 sections, uh, and the clips all on, ready for it. So what you're gonna wanna do is cut your hose, This is my gooseneck here. Sorry, I did say this actually stops going up into section one. What I meant was it stops coming out of section one with the insert. So, discard that last comment I said. So, what you're going to have to do is cut your hose, that's the length I've got on my gooseneck to say fitting. I cut mine roughly just about there. So that's how much I've cut and off from the gooseneck fitting, everything else. Now what you're going to want to do is get your univalve clip, clip onto the pipe. I 
always have my uni valve like this so I have the grey section depending on what colour you go there is different ones, there's blue ones and that out there I have the grey section down so when I pull I find that it gives me a more nicer tug some people may say no, have it the other way but I've not had a problem might want to loop this off a bit See now you see that the gooseneck is on the pole, on the hose I say, um, and the other end's there. So what you're going to want to do is thread the shorter end back through section one. So section one, feed the 21 section down from the top. Where the goose next goes in, all the way down. And you see, that's what I was saying. See, the insert is stopping the pole, the hose going up because of the clips. So that's where it acts as. It's dried up, so it stops that. So if you look, it stops that from going through. You see? But I'll sort that out in a minute because I've already done my end. And then obviously your other end here. So your other end is now here. So what you're going to want to do depending what style you got, um, feed your hose back through the little section see some of you might even have duty valves already on your poles but if you're sick and tired like I was with all the kink in this and of all these little hoses see some people see this is a X line um, hose uh, for your pole some people have got different mates uh, you know I tried several the kept kink you all done the same the X lines one started doing the same in the end yeah it took slightly longer but it was still a pain when you finish work and then you got to wrap all this hose up you know yeah you can wrap it up in your reel but for me it just was easier to do this so now this section is all in as you can see put my little insert in I'll clip that up after so as you can see the inserts back in bits there and then what this does this prevents this section going up into section one because obviously it starts sagging out of all here because all you're going to have is a clip here to stop the pipe going down you can have nothing to stop the pipe going the hose going up so then you'd end up with a load of slack this end so that's what that insert prevents so now that's all done we we'll put our pole section back in to the main pole. this with the full pole connected again this is only my 18 I've done it with all my other poles so that is how much you will have hanging out of the actual pole and once you've done that if you look on the bottom of the poles you have this plastic cap that protects the carbon fiber pole what you're going to want to do depends and with the X lines you're able just to cut the hole bigger but keep enough round 
the rim to say where it protects the carbon fibre pole but with some of them like the gardener and the, some of the other poles you're going to have to physically drill the insert out bigger to allow this to go in and out of it which I'll show you now so one's pulled if you look see it goes all the way up in the pole and I'm able to extend the full pole. Obviously, yeah, it's only one section, I can't do the whole lot, but you get the idea that piece has gone up into this pole now. Probably up to about here. So from the bottom to about here, that's how long that's gone up. Here's the reason you're gonna have to drill that out and it's nice and easy for it to come in and out. In and out. And you've also got to allow for the male sec uh, sorry, the female section from your hose reel, um, which is this section. Um, so obviously, you'd be able to clip in, and then that section has to go up into this hose. This one ain't our window. This one's our uh, roof chemical cleaning hose, but. That's what it's for. So what I'll do now is I'll take it to the van. I will obviously plug it all in, show you how it all works. Um, but that's basically the gist of it. So if you've already got this fitting, if you've already got the uni valve, all you're gonna be spending is a couple of quid on the insert and probably some new clips to obviously fit the new uh, uni valve etc or you can just keep the uni valve where it is but as long as it's in section one you can just cut the length of your hose from the bottom of the pole so you'd cut that much off and then all this nonsense where you're going to have that fitting connected onto the 21 section literally take that off put that onto this bit you just cut off hose and then all you're going to need is one new clip so let me take you to the van and we'll show you how it works. Right back at the van, you can see I've got it all connected up. That much hanging out of the bottom of the hose, uh, out of the pole. That's how much hose I have. So what you do is you grab your real hose. And that's how you want your real hose looking with the fitting on. Grab hold of it, clip it in, and then what you're able to do is this is with all my, doesn't matter, this one's only an 18, I've got 32s, I've got 40s, I've got other sizes, they all work the same and do the same. So, you pull this, if you look at that, and there uh, it will go in. Then that section of the hose is able to go all the way up the pole. Just to show you. And then you're able to fully extend, fully out with your real hose up in your pole and then just bring it all back down there's one more just these clamps a bit they're a bit tight and then just pops out once you're fully collapsed as you can see so that's you there that's you fully collapsed and then you just take that section off and that's all you're left with you ain't got to worry about curling this up coiling it up um, to something like that or like that so it just works does the job and you can just put this back into your van that's so depends on how you've got what you've got your hose your poles hanging up on I've got my see that there's another one there this one's my 25 plus. That's got the same fitting on. 
all the same. Let me to extend. Show you. Again, this is what I was on about with some of the hose, the poles. If you look at this end cap, this one's more solid. So you're going to have to physically drill the hole bigger. Which is quite straightforward, you just get a drill bit, get a spade bit, drill it out, be careful. Um, you know, put it in a clamp or try and hold it as tight as possible. But yeah, that's what you're going to have to drill it out. I don't know if I have a spare one. So yeah, this one's a spare one. This one's more of a, a gardener type. So you're able just to cut that with a blade. But with the X lines, because it's a solid piece, you're going to have to physically drill and file down. Um, to make the hole bigger, to suit this section, which is the female, to be able to slip in and out, which I'll show you, into the bottom end of the pole, which you will see now. section ago but you get the idea that's your hose reel up in your pole and then you only have the little bit that's obviously allowing you to attach that through and that's about it and that's literally how your poles will be left like this so at the minute I have this section see this is a gardener hose um, this is what usually you're left with when you have all this, if you don't reel it up into your reel. Um, but with my reel, like you see in my previous video, you can see mine's just there, sits up there. I pull this out, pull this, this pole out, clip away, extend, off I go. But because this one here is obviously my bigger pole, it's too big to go in the van. You know, that's more for our commercial or reaching up them really high and skylights and then as I state this one here is just for chemical application for our DA component and our Triton um, and our new nozzle that will be should be here Monday so again there'll be a video of that uh, some of you did ask how my um, poles are up in the van uh, I know a few manufacturers um, are actually have drain pipe work. Uh, me, I just use normal downpipe for your, from your gutters. And just get a couple of gutter clips, a um, bit of copper up the top there, as you see on that one. This one fell off, but this one here, uh, just to space it down to get more uh, depth to say and your pole just slides in and out with ease. So, quick and easy cheat, you buy one length of that, four clips, and that'll do two brushes. Um, and just get some screws, a bit of copper, you don't have to have a bit of copper if you don't want to, but I do because obviously it saves me faffing around with all this adjustment again. Um, getting it in and out of the van. It works, it does the job, you know, cheapest chips put one there as well see this one is only for our um, GoPro attachment so that's that pole there but apart from that it works it does all the jobs so if you like the video subscribe comment like and share um, and I will be back with a new video showing the new Triton and uh, a chariot um, equipment of how we use it i know da component is stocking it but i'll be in more details about that uh, once i speak to darren um and then yeah so that'll be out probably next week or in the week uh but yeah if you have any questions anything else you want to know about let me know uh because at the minute i'm still in the process of just doing my 
racking. Uh, hence the reason why you probably see the welder in this video. Just finishing off a few bits. But yeah, so, see you later.